Hey everybody, today I've got a great video a lot of you guys have been looking forward to because uh, I've been getting a ton of requests for me to do videos uh, about Winsong's flavored moonshine recipes. So we're going to start that today. I'm probably going to do several of them and uh, make a playlist about them. Today we are doing one of her peach cobbler recipes. So let's get into it. Okay, to start with, we are going to make a simple syrup. So we're going to need a medium sized pan. We're going to need some measuring cups, some measuring spoons, raw sugar, some brown sugar, Welch's peach medley, vanilla extract, and some cinnamon sticks. We're going to start by measuring in two and a half cups of packed brown sugar. Then we're going to measure in half a cup of raw sugar. I'm going to do my dry ingredients first. Uh, if you do your liquid stuff first, then you've got to dry out your measuring utensils and all that. So uh, with those measured out, then we're going to measure out four cups of the peach medley. And we're going to put in half a tablespoon of, not half. We're going to put in a tablespoon of the vanilla extract and we're going to put in the cinnamon sticks. Now we're going to heat this up and we're going to stir it. We're going to try and simmer this for three to five minutes. You want the heat as low as possible. Just trying to melt and steep. We don't want it to boil. And this will be for, like I said, three to five minutes. The more, the stronger you want the cinnamon, the longer you steep it for. It's been five minutes. Turn the heat off, let it cool to room temperature. Now we're gonna peel and wedge uh, the peach. Now we're gonna take out the uh, cinnamon sticks. This has cooled down. We've got our peaches that are wedged. We're going to go ahead and put them in this half gallon jar. Oops. Then we're going to pour this on top of it. Magically, I'll not spill a drop for sure. Not at all. Oops. Okay, maybe a little. Oh, maybe a lot. And then we're going to top that off with 120. And then at this point, you can stop just a little from the top and you can stir it up and adjust it, taste it. Maybe you want more shine in there. Maybe you want more apple juice. It depends on how strong you want it. Um, or if you wanted it really, really strong. Peach. You said apple juice. I said apple peach. Um, if you want it really, really strong, then you don't even have to pour all of this in and you can put more shine in. I'm not really the one that does the tasting in our house, so I don't know what it needs, but mama, uh, mama will um, put some in there for 
taste that. Oh. And put some. In. Okay. Ooh. There's a little for Mama to taste, and she'll tell me what to do. It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect, she says. All right. Now, oh, God. <laughs> that's the wrong lid. No. <laughs> it's falling down in there. Oh. Wrong size lid on it. So at this point, put it in your cabinet, let it sit at least 24 hours. Uh, it'll be delicious. But. If you can wait six months, so this one says Peach Cobbler, August 5th, uh, 2021. There we go. Oh, what a mess. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Ooh, that's good stuff. So that is uh, one of the peach cobbler recipes. Enjoy.